Hi Scorpio, welcome to your general reading for the first half of October. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media, playlists, tons of stuff there. Please do go check that out. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you. Those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or a donation to help support the channel is very much appreciated as I love doing these free readings for you guys. So all the support really does mean a lot to me, helps the channel to grow. Um, so thank you for being a part of that and thank you so much. Okay, so this is for Scorpio, first half of October already. Can you believe that? I'm decorated for Halloween, so happy early Halloween. And I hope everybody's doing well. I'm at a new setup now. I have a new uh, mat here for my table with my logo, new angle, so I'm much more comfortable now. So I hope everybody likes this new angle. You can see the cards okay. All right, Scorpio. Let's see what we have for Scorpio. General reading. I will read it as a general reading, but if you can fit it into any situation in your life, then you're more than welcome to do that. So as usual, we have the Zodiac Oracle here. So we may get a sign, element, or a planet, and you see how that fits into your situation. If it doesn't, totally fine. Sort of like a little extra bonus. So for Scorpio Spirit, please, for the first half of October, what could be around some Scorpios? The first half of October, please, just one card. And we have Capricorn. So some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, some way, shape, or form. It could be a um, family member, friend, co-worker, anybody really. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. All right. So Capricorn does represent the devil in the tarot. So I don't know if that means anything. We'll find out as we go on here. So you could have Capricorn in your chart also if you don't have a Capricorn around you or maybe you know somebody who has uh, a lot of Capricorn heavily in their chart. All right, so let's get a main oracle here as your main energy for the first half of October. The Scorpio spirit, please. What is the main energy? What does Scorpio need to know? What's going on with Scorpio? That's too many. Okay, I'll take that one. Oh, we have fire. We have Chimera here, I think is how you say it. And that is number 38, fire energy. So let me read a little bit about that. Number 38. Let's see. Compromise between opposites, balance, finding a way to bring it all together, creativity. Suggest the opportunity to find union between seemingly disharmonious parts of your life. How can you seek creative compromise? The chimera, I think that's how you say it, chimera, yeah. Itself was compromised of different animals. It was described by Homer as part lion, serpent, goat. Today, the word chimera is used to describe fantastical hybrid creature. Um, and it just goes into the mythical history of it, and I don't think we need to know that. So it's about compromise between opposites, balance, finding a way to bring it all together, and creativity. Hmm. So we'll see. So on the top of the deck here, we have elephant, just earth energy, and there's a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. You know, elephants I see is very wise, family-oriented, uh, memory, protective. It's number 11. So let's see what the elephant has to say. Let's see. Memory, removing obstacles, intelligence. Elephant never forgets... Um, Popular adage that an elephant never forgets is true. Uh, they have memory. Uh, brain mass is greater than other animals and their intense loyalty to their packs. So, yep, memory removing obstacles and intelligence. So there may be some sort of compromise here to remove obstacles between you and another person or in a situation. 
uh, bringing um, stability to it with the earth energy here. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have horse, fire energy again. So this is action, movement, taking charge, being very driven, action oriented. That is number 30, 36. So let's see. Horse, speed, transportation, focus, intensity. So, hmm. so focus, intensity, um, loyalty, memory, bringing um, compromise into a situation. I don't know. Let's see what's going on here. What's going on for you, Scorpio? Taking action, something here. Wise action to bring stability and uh, compromise, balance, being very fiery, passionate, and grounded, stable. All right, maybe overcoming some sort of toxic energy in a situation or between you and another person, finding an equal compromise, finding stability. All right, so what's going on with Scorpio? Nine of Swords, so air energy here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So stress, anxiety, worry, fear here. St you know, maybe up at night thinking, contemplating, and just being all up in your head. Wow, so why is the Nine of Swords here? What other energy is around Scorpio? Having stress, anxiety, and fear about something, worry here. So what's going on with Scorpio? Oh, death, there's your energy. Rich our energy, death. I'm dropping my cards. And the page of rods. So we have death here. So there's some sort of your energy Scorpio ending here. Some sort of ending that you're stressing over. But then you have a page of rods here. So this is passionate communication, exciting offers either coming in or communication going out. So I see you're stressed and worried over some sort of ending or transformation you're going through. It could be anything here. Um, I don't know. Let's get a couple more. Let's see. Let me put this over here. Let's get a couple more clarifiers. See what they have, what's going on here. What's going on here with Scorpio? Because you have death which is an ending, it's ending of something that you're stressing about. But then you have this passion, exciting new communication or uh, endeavor or something or opportunity coming into you or you're presenting out. Let's get one more. So you have the four rods. So it's something to do with your home, your stability, your foundation here, something to do with your home, but then there's somebody sneaky here with the seven of swords. So lying, deception, sneaky energy here, not a very trustworthy kind of energy. So somebody's sneaking around in your home. <laughs> oh boy, what's going on here? So so I feel like Something is definitely ending here, but you have some sort of offer, exciting opportunity or offer coming in or you're extending out. But, you know, something, something in your home here, some kind of sneaky activity going on. Somebody's not telling the truth. Someone's being deceptive. Maybe you had an offer come into you that you thought was promising, but they were very deceptive and it wasn't a very honest offer. And you thought it was very a very, very stable offer here. And it turned out not to be, which had has you in the stressed out um, mode. And now you realize that it's really an offer that's not going to go anywhere. 
Hmm. So let's see what your actual situation is. What is the actual situation now for Scorpio? What is all this about? Um, I don't know if it has something to do with your family, because when I think of elephants, I think of their, you know, their tribe, their family, being loyal to one another. So I don't know if it's something to do with a family member here that uh, was kind of sneaky and deceptive. They came rushing in here, you know, with the horse energy, with this promise, this opportunity or something and uh i know it just was full of lies and deceit and maybe you just decided to end that with that person because they left you you know just stressed like too much stress they have too much stress in your life from this person and maybe that's where the balance comes in and the compromise that you knew you had to compromise this relationship in order to have balance in your life and as loyal as you may want to be with them because you know elephants are all about family loyalty tribe yes they're your tribe your family but if they're not bringing balance into your life and they're just bringing you stress and anxiety then you know that could be why the death card is here so let's see what your yeah yeah just just clarifying what i said the ten of swords here so you've been stabbed in the back actually in the front this is the front so you knew i mean how this person was you saw these swords coming but you felt like you had to be faithful to this person because they're family but this is the ending completion no more swords death look at that death no more of these swords being stabbed no no more because now you have the wheel of fortune so this fate destiny good luck timing um things going in your favor so, you know, this is what was meant to be. This is what was supposed to happen. So, and here's you only taking the swords with you that you've learned lessons from and moving forward and leaving all that negativity behind. And that's the Capricorn energy of the devil, toxic, toxic energy, leaving that all behind and moving forward in a more comfortable, peaceful place. Air energy here. So we have a lot of air. We have fire, air fire a lot of fire and air so far so cancer scorpio no sorry uh libra gemini aquarius and uh sag aries and leo sag here with the wheel scorpio is you death wow so let's get more clarity on this and i don't think no death doesn't mean somebody died i just feel like you terminated a connection here and, and it might have been a family member you might have cut that cord you might have taken one of these swords here and just decided, you know, no, nope, that's it. Cut the cord. And now you cut the karma cord and now karma is going to go in your favor and enable you to move on in a more peaceful, harmonious place. Okay, so the world, wow. And the, de <laughs> the devil, the devil showed up, wow. And I was going to place the devil right on the seven of swords over here. So that's just spirit clarifying what I just said. This toxic, lying, cheating, dishonest energy here. Yep. Yep, no more of that because now you have a whole new world. Ending of a cycle, starting of a new cycle. Cutting those ties. And I just happened to look and I seen this little um, design right there. And it kind of looked like, from my angle, like scissors or like an X. So... Like cutting, just cutting those ties, ending that cycle, closing, closing that cycle, ending that cycle, starting a new cycle for yourself in a whole new world, whole new chapter. Finally relieving yourself of all the toxicity and stress they brought into your life. Wow. Okay. Well, you know what? If they say if somebody, you know, anybody is toxic in your life no matter who they are if it's for your best interest to cut those ties no matter who they are then that's the best thing and it's a sad thing to do and it's a hurtful thing to do as with the ten of swords here but sometimes you have to all right what advice do we have for scorpio for the first half of october queen of pentacles being more stable 
and the magician. So your advice is to stand in your stability here with the Queen of Pentacles, you know, being smart, analytical here, uh, stable, grounded, growth, abundance, and manifesting a whole new world for yourself with the magician energy here. And this is Gemini Virgo, but it doesn't have to be. So, I mean, that is earth energy, but, you know, that doesn't mean anything. I think this is just your energy of manifesting your whole new beginning of stability, strength, secure, being secure. Wow. All right. Using the sword here to cut out what's not needed. <laughs> All right. What else do we have for Scorpio? To clarify their advice, take those two. Wow, now we have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Swords. So, you know, the Eight of Swords is mental blockage, mental entrapment stuck in your own head, but you can easily cut yourself out of that. You can with the Magician energy and using this sword here to cut yourself free of this mental blockage. So you can free yourself from all that mental fear, stress, everything that they caused you. You can break free of that and manifest a whole new way of thinking for yourself. The magician energy and the page of pentacles. You know, this is communication. You may have some new offers coming in, stable, grounded offers. Um, could be a new person coming into your life that's very stable and grounded. Could be an earth sign. Uh, could be a new friend, a coworker. It could be anybody really. Um, some kind of long-term stable offer here coming in. Could be a new job opportunity um, of some kind also. Something coming in which is gonna be very stable for you. Just either a new friend, a job opportunity, um, something like that. All right, or you could be, you know, um, could be going back to school. You could be learning new things. Um, all right, it could be, you know, somebody younger than you, a child, very supportive child, and maybe an earth sign that's supporting you. All right, so what is your outcome? What is your outcome in this situation? The five of pentacles, yeah. You're just going to leave this person out in the cold. Yeah, cutting, cutting all ties. Five of pentacles energy here. Abandoning this situation, this person, this energy, this toxic energy. Abandoning it, leaving out in the cold. No more, no more. Icing it over and just leaving it. Nine of cups, so it will lead you to your happiness and joy. Your wishes and your dreams coming true moving forward. You'll be in a higher vibration, a very happier, joyous place that will enable you to look forward to new things because you have the wheel right in the middle here, which will propel you forward um, for better opportunities, which the Six of Swords here is moving forward. And the Four of Pentacles. So being very stable and grounded, again, holding on to your stability and not giving in to this person if they come back. And that could be the Page of Pentacles here. I mean, they could come back and say, oh, you know, I'm more stable now, I've changed. But I think you'll know better. And you're gonna hold on to your way of thinking, you're gonna hold on to your standards, and you're gonna hold on to your stability and stay grounded in this situation. All right, so let's see what the bottom of the deck has to say. The hangman. So I think you just kind of hung back for a while here. Cancer Pisces, you just kind of let this person do whatever they want. And you just kind of hung back, went with the flow, didn't really say much. But then you started to see things from a new perspective. And you were like, you know what? This person is just toxic. I just can't take it no more. They're just stress. They give me too much stress in my life. So, you know. King of Cups energy here. So that's your energy, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, you know, you are very loving, nurturing, caring, and giving, maybe to a fault, and maybe they took advantage of you. Now, this is juggling things around, the two of pentacles. So probably, they, this person probably gave you a lot to juggle. 
with all the issues, all the stress they brought into your life, made you feel very imbalanced. You know, and they may try to come back here and apologize. I mean, you may have a conversation. You may, you know, maybe apologies here. But uh, I know it's up to you whether or not you want to um, accept them back into your life. Or this could be you meeting a new person. A new, like I said, with the Page of Pentacles there, a new friend, a new co-worker that you're totally aligned with, or a new romantic interest or something like that. Because now we have the Queen of Cups. So we have the King and Queen of Cups here. So you could meet a water sign. Um, you know, defensive here, standing your ground, not giving in to this person. Now we have the Queen too. So King and Queen of Cups. So, I mean, you could meet a soulmate here who is a water sign also. Or this is just all your energy. And, you know, this just could be, you know, in aligned with yourself. Self-love, self-worth. No more juggling around. You're seeing things from a new perspective. You're standing your ground here. Being loyal to who you are. Not taking any more crap. Okay. So let's get a few more messages here. Then we'll close it out. You Scorpio. Scorpio. A few more messages for Scorpio. A few more messages for Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? What else do we have for Scorpio for the first half of October? First half of October. Speaker, your life purpose involves skills of oration so i don't maybe you're a speaker here or this is just you needing to speak your truths speaking with truth and clarity and speaking up to this person and then we have justice wow yep your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help but i'm just getting here that you finally serve justice to yourself in this situation. Maybe you even had to get the justice system involved in this situation. I don't know for some of you, but justice is here to say, you know, you did the right thing. You balanced out the scales. You spoke with truth and clarity, or you need to. Justice is absolutely the right thing here. All right, so what else do we have for Scorpio? So we have creative expression. Your soul longs to express itself creatively. So I don't know, that may just be a message for some people here that um, maybe writing or journaling or something may help you deal with uh, situations. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Sensitivity. You're, bl you're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. So, you know, a very sensitive situation here, especially if... Um, this was a family situation, very, very sensitive um, situation, and that's why I think sensitivity showed up. Okay, Scorpio, uh, I see here you did the right thing, and cutting the ties with this person, uh, maybe, you know, maybe you came to a compromise, and you had a healing, a forgiving conversation, but you told them, look, I think it's best that you stay out of my life, or whatever here, I'm not telling anybody what to do. And, um, you know, elephant here, I just feel like family, you know, you feel like you need to be loyal, but horse there is taking action and doing best, doing what's best for you and being in your king of cups and queen of cups, their energy. If this didn't resonate for you, Scorpio, you can check the description box below for past playlist. Maybe something there will resonate for you. If something catches your eye, I'd say watch it anyway. Disregard the um, dates on them. I do consider them all timeless. And if you do like my style and how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly, general, and love. So that's four readings a month. So don't miss out on that. So I'm sending you much luck here in your situation. And sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine the light.